Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com, as well as your weather authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Tuesday morning forecast update. Again, we do have a flood watch in effect through this evening. No changes to the flood watch. This is the same one that was issued yesterday. It does carry until 7 p.m. this evening, and uh, likely going to see some areas that pick up an additional, I would say, four to five inches of rain, if not a little bit more today. And pretty impressive rainfall totals yesterday. These are the radar estimates since the rain started on Sunday. These are your uh, total storm accumulations so far. Anywhere in the purple, that's about six inches of rain. So have had some spots here in uh, northeast Texas as well as northwest Louisiana that have picked up uh, a good seven to eight inches of rain, including South Shreveport as well as South Bossier. A lot of flooding out there on the roadways last night. And uh, you can see that heavy rain extends over into Webster Parish as well. And it will be these areas uh, south of I-20 that have the risk for uh, rain today as our cold front uh, that did stall out, brought the heavy rain yesterday, uh, basically is located right here from uh, Henderson to Carthage to Mansfield. This is where our front is, and that's likely where we're going to see the heaviest rain kind of play out as we move through the day today. And you can see on uh, radar here, we're starting to pull some dry air into the northern Arkeltex, but with this area of low pressure kind of sliding through today, pretty good chance everybody will see some rainfall once again today, but the uh, highest risk of flash flooding will be in the red area here. Again, the weather predictions center moderate risk of excessive rainfall and thus uh, some flash flooding today basically from Shreveport uh, down to Manny and over to Natchitoches and I uh, can't rule out some flooding here in, in Texas and if we get a uh, rogue storm or two in the green area including Texarkana we can't rule out maybe some roadway flooding in those locations as well so here's a look at your Robins today to feature cast I think it has a great handle on uh, where the rain will be today you can see it will be scattered so we're not looking at kind of the whole day washout scenario that we had yesterday but uh, uh, there's the storms popping up with that stalled front south of I-20 this afternoon. So this is where the heaviest rain will likely be uh, later today and into tonight. And it looks like that front will stay stalled out tomorrow, whether the Weather Service extends that watch. Uh, looks like we'll have to wait until the afternoon to see if they will extend that watch into tomorrow. But it, I do think it's at least a possibility because you can see we have some pretty good scattering of storms on Wednesday as well. So uh, total accumulations here. We're still showing maybe four to six inches of rain. Uh, Heaviest rain again up through Shelby, DeSoto, and Red River parishes today in Shreveport uh, area may tap into some of that heavy rainfall. And then uh, going later into the week, you can see some of the accumulations approaching seven inches. So there will be some areas here that pick up uh, maybe over a foot of rain this week, certainly smashing some rainfall records and uh, again uh, doing good work at eliminating this drought. But we'd prefer to kind of keep these uh, totals or at least the, uh, the rainfall kind of spread out. Your temperatures here today, again, in the 70s to start out and the rain should hold us in the upper 70s and low 80s this afternoon so we get a break from the heat again today and there's a look at your seven day we'll keep it in the 80s rain gradually tapering off as we head into the weekend so back to near 90 on saturday and we do have uh, some more showers in the storms in the forecast early next week